nerd soul. What's up, y'all? It's Keith Cooper Blurtish out here with my table mate friend. He's set up. They're having a discussion. My favorite customer friend, John Paul, he's writing some stuff. I ain't gonna show what he's writing. Oh, I'm just writing a little note too. Okay. He's trading art right now. Yeah. Okay. He's trading art, so mm -hmm. he's yeah, doing he's... his thing. Oh, yeah. That's what we traded. <laughs> That's our trades for today. That's <laughs> fine. Check him That's out. Awesome. <laughs> it really is. <laughs> so, this is what he got going today, man. How Cyphercon been going? It's cool. Temperature changes throughout, but it's pretty good. It feels great outside. It's like it's getting frigid in here. It was back around <laughs> the beginning of Friday, and yesterday had its cold one. When the traffic was low, it's all right right now. I don't know. I gotta walk around, <laughs> but. If you're out here, check them out. But this is where you can find them. Get all the commissions from them. Oh. <laughs> I, I knew I was about to trigger them. He's like, he, commissions might be closed at the moment. You know. Email, email them. That's what you do. <laughs> What's up y'all, it's Keith Cooper at French Truck. First pop-up of the year at French Truck today. Be out here for a few hours, probably about two. As you can see, by the wall as usual. Get you some good coffee, some food, toys, promoting for various upcoming cons, Pelican. Of course, go to the Blurters website. Merch sale going on. And of course, that's coming later this year. Sign up now while spots are going fast. So, check us out. Small pop up today. Art, comics, different things, and various stuff. And of course, the wonderful staff here at French Truck serving coffee, food, and various things. So, check them out. Shout out to Adam for all the help and all the staff. What's up, y'all? It's Keith Cooper with Blurtish. I'm here at Studio BC, if I said that right. And this man is live inking right now. What character are you inking? This is actually a commission for uh, uh, another attendee, uh, her original character. So I'm going to go ahead and get that inked up for her. That way she can take it home and be a happy customer. Look, look at some of his other creations. Clearly he loves fighting games. Fatal Fury, Terry, Soul Bad Guy, I, the witch from that game. I don't know her name, but she's <laughs> awesome. Morgan, the witch again. Dope stuff. Check them out. Legendary cosplayer. He's legendary, man. Yeah, that's you. He's doing Gambit today. And let's check out what he's done. As you see, he's done various things. Man, he got some classics. Speaking of classics, Phantom, his Thanos, his Black Adam, Superman, Ghost Rider. Man, he's done it all. <laughs> so tell us, when did you get into cosplaying? Um, I started in 2012. Uh, I always loved Halloween. I always loved to dress up for Halloween. I never went to a convention. So uh, that Halloween, I went to be John Stewart Green Man. Um, Never made a costume, so I very crudely put it together. And then um, I got offered to do a charity event. So I did a charity event, uh, Relay for Life. And then that's all I was doing for like the next year. That's it, charity events. And then I went to my first convention, and it was all downhill after that. So I went to my family, man. This is awesome. So good, man. It's, it's good to hear stories like that. So, um, so what made you get the name Night Mage? How did you come up with that? <laughs> um, I'm old. I'm old. So listen, I don't know if y'all remember a uh, TV show. It's called Who Wants to Be a Superhero? It was hosted by Stan Lee. It was a reality show. I vaguely remember it. Back in like 2006. So I auditioned for season two. And the character I came up with was Night Mage. It's basically like a cross between Doctor Strange and Jedi Knight. So I didn't make the show, obviously, but I was on like a fifth alternate for the show. 
All right. So um, I didn't do anything with the character, and then once I started cosplaying, um, I did like a couple YouTube shorts, just silly shorts, um, and the name just kind of stuck. So then people just start calling me Mage, Night Mage, and yeah, I just ran with it. Look, man, this is my first time meeting him, and when I say he's legendary, like coming across my scrolls, I see your name pop up like in various cosplayer stuff. You know, so I'm like, hey, he must be legendary, you know. I know, you know. Man, listen, I, <laughs> I honestly, I don't even know how I got to this point. You know what I mean? Like, I'm, it's still surreal to me, like the opportunities I have and stuff like that. Um, I'm just so thankful that people like what I do, you know. Um, I have fun doing it. Um, I love to be able to give back whatever I can doing it. And, um, yeah, man, I just love this community. Hey, man, it's dope. Where can people find, support, and check out your works? Yeah, uh, on basically all the social medias, uh, Night Mage, uh, Night Mage 100 on Instagram. Um, you can go to my website, nightmage.org, and um, you can see all my appearances there. Uh, I'll be starting a new um, uh, donation shop for, for prints and stuff, which 100% will be going back to different charities I support. And, yeah, that's it. Dope. We're gonna, before we leave, we're going to take a little bit more of the other side of the table. Look at his other stuff that he's done. Look, now you know. In fact, I'm going to lift this up out of the sheen a little bit so you can see it. He says, show enough, kiss them converse. This man About is dope. If that ain't legendary, I don't know what is it. Check him out. Peace.